Plants are the primary producers in the food chain. Therefore, they provide nearly all of the food energy needed by living things. Most plants have flowers that help them make seeds in order to reproduce. However, some plants do not use flowers to reproduce. Let us dig into the classifications of plants according to their characteristics. Plants are classified as bryophytes and trichophytes. Trichophytes are vascular plants with vascular tissues, and these are the xylem and the phloem. Xylem is the water-carrying vascular tissue, while the phloem is the main food-carrying tissue. These vascular plants have true roots, leaves, and stems. Bryophytes are non-vascular plants. They are small and they do not have true roots, stem, and leaves. Non-vascular plants do not contain phloem or xylem tissues, but they have special tissues for transporting water and nutrients. Vascular plants are further classified into two, the vascular seed plants and the vascular seedless plants. Vascular seedless plants have vascular tissue and are generally larger and better adapted to drier environment than the non-vascular plants. Club mosses and ferns are examples of vascular seedless plants. Vascular seed plants are most widely distributed throughout the earth. These plants are classified into gymnosperms and angiosperms. Gymnosperms are also called cone-bearing plants, while the angiosperms are called the flower-bearing plants. In this lesson, our focus will be on the spore-bearing plants. There are some non-flowering plants that do not produce seeds. Instead, they use spores to reproduce. And these are the spore-bearing plants. Examples of spore-bearing plants that are non-vascular are the mosses, the liverworts and the hornwort. These three are collectively known as bryophytes. They are non-vascular plants that reproduce through spores. Mosses only grow a few inches from the ground. They usually grow in clumps and spread like mats, anchoring themselves into the soil and rocks using root-like parts called the rhizoids. In liverworts, the phallus contains the male and female sex organs, and in some species of liverworts, the phallus contains gemmae cups that carry the gemmae. 
When GMA detach from the plant, they may immediately germinate on a favorable environment. The spores of hornworts are stored in the sporangium which is a horn-like cylinder that splits upon maturation to scatter spores. There are also vascular plants that are considered as spore-bearing plants. The commonly known example are the ferns, which do not produce flowers nor seeds, like the bryophytes. Ferns reproduce through spores. They have leaves, stems, and roots. The leaves of ferns are known as prawns. The underside of the prawn is where the spores are attached. When the spores are released and find a suitable environment, it will grow into a plantlet, and this is the gametophyte stage of the fern's reproduction. The stems of these plants grow shoots that contain cone-like structures which hold the spores. When the spores are spread by agents of pollination, they will germinate on fertile soil and develop thalli. Thalli are the plant's gametophytes which will produce male and female reproductive cells. The gametophyte stage of club mosses may take up to 15 years to complete before they can form new plants. You already know grade 6 that living things are classified according to the general group known as the kingdom. So since we are talking about plants, under kingdom plantae, we have the non-vascular plants which are also known as the bryophytes and the vascular plants which are the tracheophytes. Okay then, grade 6, let us now check your understanding. Can you identify these ferns and moses? Let us do this together. See you online!